Matthew, in, 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 the, in the message translation, it says, yes, and if you embrace this kingdom life, Man, somebody should shout right there. Yeah. If you embrace this kingdom life yeah. and don't doubt God, yeah. you'll not only do minor features like I did yeah. to the fig tree, but also triumph over huge obstacles. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody has a chance to shout. Yeah. But triumph over huge obstacles. Yeah. This mountain, for instance, you tell, go jump in the lake and it will jump. Absolutely everything ranging from small to large. Oh, yeah, I missed the chance to shout. Absolutely everything from small to large as you make it part of your believing. Oh, you missed it. As you make it part of your believing prayer yes. gets included. <laughs> you forgot the shout. Gets included as you lay hold of God. Oh man, you should have been dancing. It gets included as you lay hold of God. Absolutely everything. Everything. Ranging from small to large. Oh, somebody don't see their future. Your future is going small to large and you don't even know it. Absolutely everything as you make it part of your believing prayer. High five uh, your neighbor and say whatever the speaker's about to say today. I, I receive it. I receive it. Last week I, I spoke about a, a prayer in the sermon of he is perfecting Though that is concerning you. This week I'm adding this particular passage because it is critical when you pray, you believe, and have faith. In a continuing command and demand, how I received it. It, 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 it is that in order for God to do whatever we pray, we must believe and have faith. He said, did you write absolutely everything from small to large in, in your believing prayer? In, in your believing prayer. He didn't just say prayer. He said, in your what? Believing prayer. So whatever you pray for, it can happen as long as you what? Believe. Have faith. And believe. It goes hand to hand throughout the Bible, right. uh, and I reiterate that you must have faith and you must believe. The Bible seems to constantly hit the hammer on the nail from the Old Testament to the New Testament, friend, that you must have faith and you must believe. He said, I believe in the scripture, uh, 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 sisters and, and, and mothers of the church, he said, if you can have faith of a mustard seed. Uh, my, my, my coordinates uh, reveals to me that faith is mentioned 246 times and believe is mentioned 144 times. Uh, why do I bring this up? Because God says in order for him to perform the miracle in your life, you cannot doubt. You must believe and you must have faith. Somebody yell out, I receive that. I receive that. The Bible says if you embrace the kingdom right. life. Right. If you embrace the kingdom life and don't doubt. God said you, you, you not only do the minor features like I did to the fig tree, but you also triumph. Over huge obstacles. How many people have huge obstacles in their life right now that are dragging them down? That are dragging them down. But God said, if you have faith of the, the size of a mustard seed, if you believe in your believing prayer, He said you will try up 
uh, over huge obstacles. Yeah, well. Embrace. Yeah. Embrace means to accept, yeah, yeah. to support a, a belief, theory, yeah, well. or change. Yeah. Willingly well. and enthusiastically. Well. You have to accept. Yeah, you, you have to open up. Well. You, you have to believe and have faith. Yeah. Uh, 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 the old saints would say, Without faith, it's impossible. Faith without works is dead. Triumph means a great victory or achievement. Achieve a victory, be successful. So I, I was sent today to remind you that your faith and your belief is what counts if you want God to perform in your life. Uh, repeat that for me, self. I receive that. I receive that. Now, now, in order to believe and to have faith, you have to be open to receive. So, somebody really needs to catch that. You have to be open to receive. You have, you have to be open to receive. Somebody say, I'm open. I'm open. I'm open. I'm open. Open meaning allowing access. Passive. Or a view through an empty space. Yeah. Not closed or blocked up, Deacon yeah. Bright. Now, 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 traditional churches, when, when we do the altar call, uh, 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 we tend to say, say, now the doors of the church are open. Yeah. That, that's allowing you access, allowing you to receive the Lord as your personal Savior. God's miracles come when you are open and you are receiving. Oh, somebody missed a chance to shout. When you are open and, and you are receiving. Okay, well, well what, is, what is all this? It is our receiving open stuff you're talking about, speaker. Uh, 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 what, what is all this? I, 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 I'm trying to get you to understand that you will never receive a blessing. Well, well. If you are closed. Oh, right. Right. You you will never receive your blessing. No. If you are closed. See, when we do the right hand of fellowship, we open up the right hand. Right. When, when you hug somebody, you don't hug them like this, do you? You open up. You will never receive a blessing. If you are closed, okay, okay. The enemy, the enemy gets upset and, and furious when, when we. Pray. You wonder why all the hell is going on in your life. You ever notice that when you start opening up for God, the enemy start attacking more. That's because you are opening up. The enemy job is to close you. See, if you close, you can never receive. Well, somebody well, catch that when they get home. Well, if you open, you can receive. Well, if you close, you can never receive. Yeah. The enemy gets so furious well, and so upset when we become open to God yeah. because he know as long as we are open, we will receive. Well, why do you think while you're in church? All of a sudden, you get texts on your phone coming through. Folks are whispering and gossiping and talking to you to distract you from receiving the message because the enemy knew you were open. Why, why do you think when, when you're listening to, to praise and worship music around the house and you clean it up and you, you start receiving it and you start shouting in the house when you think of the goodness and all that he has done for you and then all of a sudden the doorbell rings, phone is ringing to distract you from being open. You have folks calling you to talk about nothing. nothing. Why do you think when when you are in praying, you are praying around the house, folks are calling you mm -hmm. on the phone trying to interrupt you from your time with the Lord? Well, that that's when the devil is trying to get you closed. Well, well. That's the devil trying to stop you from receiving. Well, the devil sees that you are open. You are opening up. So he has to do whatever it takes 
to close you. So, so, so you wonder why it seems like God is performing. Some of us wonder why it seems like God is performing miracles in everybody's life but ours. Everybody's life but yours. Maybe God has not done it yet because you were closed. Maybe God has not done it yet because you were closed. The miracle takes place in openness. The Bible reads that God will open up the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing. But you will not be able to receive your blessing in your life if you are closed. If you are closed up, I can't get no help. I can't get no help. I like the way Mike McClurk, the pastor Mike McClurk, illustrates this. He says, he says, have you ever tried to pour a drink into a cup with a closed lid? You can try all you want, but nothing will go in. So if you're not open to receive it, then the closed top represents the blessings that are being poured out and wasted on the floor. Wasted blessings. This could be the reason that you're not able to get things or keep things for a long time. This could be the reason why whatever you receive is only temporary. This could be the reason why what you ask for is not happening. This could be the reason because you are not open. My mama used to say, and, and, and my granddaddy them used to say, and the older, older folks used to say, a closed mouth don't get fed. <laughs> you, can't, you can't put that in a closed mouth, can you? A closed mouth don't get paid. Don't get fed. <laughs> a closed mouth don't get fed. This could be the reason why your pain having went, went away in your body. Because when you prayed, you were closed. You can't put a blessing in something closed. You have to be open to receive it. This could be the reason why your child is still taking you through hell and back. This could be the reason why if you, if you do get better, it's only for a day. But, but we don't mind. We don't mind opening up to things that's not important, do we? Amen. Amen. Gee, if I'm talking about you, just look straight ahead. Just look straight ahead. We don't mind opening up to gossip. We don't mind opening up to talking about people. We don't mind opening up to things that's not godly. Negativity. I know I'm stepping on somebody's shoes, but just look straight ahead. Look straight ahead. Touch your neighbor and say, he ain't talking about me. I've been saved all morning. I've been saved all morning. I've been saved all morning. Amen. <laughs> I, 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 I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. I got to get out. I'm not going to keep you alone. But before, this is critical. This is critical. Pay attention. The Bible says that in whatever thing, you ask in prayer. Believe in Whatever that is, you ask in prayer. Believe it. Whatever that is, whatever that is, you ask in prayer. Believe it. It cannot work. It will not work if you don't believe. You can touch and agree. You can high five. You can slap your neighbor. But if you don't agree, if you don't believe, if you don't have faith, it will not happen. Whatever things you ask in prayer, believe it. Our God says you will receive. You will receive. Now, now, now the promise in this scripture of uh, 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 God's answer to the prayer of faith was made to his disciples. 
Somebody missed that. The promise in that scripture of prayer was made to his disciples. Did you get that? The promise of God's answer to the prayer of faith was made to his disciples, not to the multitude. What do I mean by that? Not to the multitude. This is a promise to those who are following Christ. This is the promise to those that are following following Jesus. This is the promise to those that have faith in God, that have faith in Jesus. You have to be open. You have to receive. You have to be open. You have to receive. You have to believe. You have to have faith. Touch your neighbor, touch your neighbor, say, are you ready to open up? So that God can do the impossible in your life? Are you ready to open up? So that God can do the impossible in your life? The Bible says, in your prayer of believing, you will receive. In your prayer of believing, you will you will receive. How many people in here are saved? How many people in here are saved? How many people here are saved? The doors of the church are open now. The doors of the church are open now. If you have if you have stepped away from God, if you have if you have had some times where recently where where you were sick and tired of being sick and tired, and you thought that God's way wasn't working for you, right now. The doors of the church are open. And you can get back in fellowship with God. God loves salvation. Salvation of the soul. The doors of the church are now open. And we are willing and gladly to accept you. If I do my 